It was the most horrible cow factory I've ever seen. The poor women were put on stationary machines and shaken. They were producing milk. What were supposed to be iron cages for captive cows were cruelly holding countless young girls. Behind the milk-producing girls, there seems to be an untold story. Is it the distortion of human nature, or is it moral degradation? Lucy's eyes were vacant as she lay on the extremely dirty operating table. A woman in a white coat took out a white syringe that could make people pregnant and inserted it into Lucy's vagina. Afterward, the woman called an old man with a fierce face and a stick. He skillfully tied the collar around Lucy's neck and dragged her off the cold operating table. The action was like pulling livestock. Lucy was taken inside a small dark and damp house. Several rusty iron cages were set up here. The girls had two tubes inserted into their breasts in order to draw milk from them. The ruthless man threw Lucy directly into the cage and locked it immediately. A short while later, a girl covered in blood was also brought in. It turned out that the girl was no longer able to produce milk, and the breeder began to beat her severely and mercilessly pulled her out to kill her. A horrible scream cut through the night. The girl was seen on her knees, gasping for air. Soon the doctors arrived. They prepared a small lamp and some unsterilized tools and decided to start delivering the baby inside this cold prison. Fortunately, the birth went well. But the doctor's expression at this time was unusually grave, for the birth was a boy. Here the boy could not continue to produce milk and was simply worthless to them. The doctor threw the newborn child directly into the garbage can. The woman who lost her son took Lucy's hand and told her that she wanted to escape from this hell with Lucy. And she warned Lucy that if you don't escape, you too will be reduced to a tool for milk production. In the days that followed, the keepers often took out their electric shocks to torment the women. Everyone in the cage was shivering with fear. Seeing this, Lucy is determined to leave this hellhole. She pretended she was about to go into labor and drew the bearded man to her. The man slowly opened the cage. Lucy kicked him off, then took out the sharp knife from the man's body and slit his throat directly, blood spurted out. The women in the cage became very excited at the sight, and they cheered. After all, Lucy was the first one who was brave enough to resist. And just like that, the man was dead. Then Lucy took the key directly from him. The noise in the room attracted another keeper. Lucy signaled them to keep quiet and hid herself in the doorway. When the man came in, Lucy attacked him from behind. She locked a chain around the man's neck and strangled him to death. Then Lucy threw the key in her hand to the woman in the cage and walked out of the room alone. She looked around and saw a horrible scene through the glass of the room door. Lucy was so scared that she covered her mouth and crouched there. Fearful of being discovered, she could only continue on. She opened a door and the first thing that caught her eye was a long corridor. He peered through the glass next to her and the sight inside was nothing short of shocking. Er. Seeing dozens of women secured to machines with tubes all over their bodies, a mass milk production was taking place. The women were terrified and rushed to hide in an unfamiliar room, only to find that it was full of young girls. Suddenly, the lights come on and just like that Lucy is mercilessly dragged away by the breeder. When Lucy woke up again, she realized that the breeder had fallen to the ground. It turned out to be the squatting woman who did it. The women were happy and talked about escaping together. But soon another person came in, the two rushed up and directly put her under death control. The female doctor cried out hysterically. With nothing else to do, the doctor's tongue was directly cut out by the two men in a hard way. Then they put her in a cage. The female doctor who could no longer speak was worse than death, it was time for her to experience life in a cage. At the critical moment, the factory boss came to inspect the work. The two women stood behind the door to avoid the boss. It was only after the boss had left that they quietly opened the door, looked around cautiously, and then escaped from this hell. The scene changes, and it turns out to be a factory specializing in skincare products. The raw material is a woman's breast milk, and the product has a nice name called Milk of Life. After applying it, it can make your skin rosy and bright and shiny. Exaggeratedly speaking, it can directly make you 10 years younger. 
Screen in front of you, you will use such skincare products? Welcome to tell me in the comment section. Let's be honest, in this age of beauty, girls often have their IQ for beauty. Various skincare products have swept in and this odd way of taking care of your skin is endless. Is beauty really that important? Welcome to subscribe to Whole Recaps, we'll see you in the next time.